Thanks for watching this first in a series of how to take care of yourself at home with under ABC Care. Um, you'll notice it's called ABC. The B stands for bio, as bio structural correction. The bio part is you. It's your own muscles which are going to make the correction once we've unlocked the things you cannot do yourself while you're in the office here, right? So your own movements are going to make the correction. The people who do the best under care are people that move or like to move. And some of you watching this have probably may, might have been pain for a long time. You haven't been using your body the way it's been designed to for a long time. Have no fear as your spine corrects and starts feeling great. Your inherent need and desire to move will kick in and it'll come at the right time, right? So each time you get adjusted, adjusted here, you should take a walk afterwards, at least up and down the block if your car is parked right in front. If you can, walk around the block. Even if you just live a mile or so away, because getting into a car, as you'll learn later in another segment, sitting down is not a good thing for your spine, and you want to take this newfound freedom you have and rearrange things as much as possible before you sit, okay? Um, so, actually, sometimes people can, under drastically changing their spine, walking for a mile or so soon after getting adjusted is the best thing for them, right? But from here down, basically, the, the movement, you're going to correct yourself by walking, using a hula hoop, climbing stairs, things like that. From here up, what I found is that it really helps, or almost basically necessary, to have your arms over your head. And I started thinking, you know, there's probably an awful lot of people in America over the age of 40 that if you follow them around for a whole week, they might never raise their arms over their head, unless they're cornflakes with a very top shelf or something like that. And we were designed to be climbing trees and, you know, dancing with arms above our heads. So it's a good thing to do. So I figured out, well, let me just back up. So I would tell people for years to go swimming or climb trees or conduct orchestras or something like that. Many people don't have time or uh, the place to do that in their lives. So a few years ago, I figured out this exercise, which will uh, do the job and it's simple to do. And I have virtually 100% compliance on this because it does feel so good and so effective, right? So it's like swimming on land, sort of. What you're going to do is have both your arms above your head. And you alternate reach with one side, reach with the other. Reach and reach, OK? And if you look, what I'm doing is, and this is actually a very natural mo motion, 8 out of 10 people, it just comes naturally. You're lifting one arm, and the opposite hip and heel come up, right? And what's happening there is that every vertebra, every spinal bone in your spinal column is getting a chance to rock back and forth and um, reset itself, okay? It's particularly helpful to free up this area of the spine, which on most uh, Americans is the most stuck place in the spine. So what I have found is that people that do this progress through the correction process far quicker and uh, are spending less time and less money in the office, right? So from the back, it looks like this. You reach and you reach. And you really want to you really want to stretch. Like, OK, pretend you're going to get a million dollars for hit that ceiling, OK? Now, how often should you do this? You don't have to knock yourself out doing high numbers of reps. You just want to do it frequently. You want to do it after you get adjusted. and. Um, you know, for every like half hour that you sit, you should do it a couple of times, right? So you do, you know, two, four, six reps maybe, and then that's it throughout your day, right? Angelina, you want to come here and demonstrate? Because even little, little kids you can do. Go ahead. There. There you go. Stretch and stretch and stretch. And if your spine can start working like that, you'll know your process is done, right? <laughs> so that's it. All right, thank you very much and uh, enjoy that exercise.